Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts, and today, guys, I'll be reacting to the Arrow 1159 trailer, the TV promo for next week's episode of Arrow. This week's episode of Arrow, Beacon of Hope, was really good, so I'm definitely excited to see what happens next in this story for next week's episode. So I'm definitely curious to check out this trailer, because like I said, Beacon of Hope, this week's episode, was really, really good. I reviewed that episode. If you want to check out my review, link's in the description. If you want to hear my thoughts about this week's episode of Arrow, Beacon of Hope. But without further ado, let's get into it now, the Arrow 1159 trailer the promo for next week's episode of arrow let's see what they tease us for next week let's jump into it life was a series of cycles a time to be born a time to die a time to kill the team's falling apart you of all people should know the dangers of getting between two siblings you will never beat me johnny thinks i'm a traitor i know exactly what that kevlar won't protect whoa wait a minute kind of death 11.59. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Two things. Two things. About this. Huh. I got two things. That this could be. That this could be. The very end. With that time of death... 1159. Now we understand we understand the title of the episode. Either this is marketing to get us to watch next week's episode of Arrow because it's like someone's going to die, the person in the grave is going to die next week. So it's either marketing and it's going to trick us or it actually is the death. So I don't know because what it could be is the 1159 angle could be the fake out like someone's not like they're going to pretend like they're gonna fake death it or something you know how these shows work maybe but they're clearly saying in the promo end of an era even in the description here witness the end of an era on a new arrow this wednesday so i mean look it could be just tricky marketing and it's gonna be a fake out and it's not gonna be a real death or it's not gonna be a meaningful death it's not the person in the grave or it could let's read some of the comments Captain Lance, you've you have been amazing since season one. Goodbye. <laughs> wow, he's like a predicting Captain Lance is done. Um if Laurel, Diggle, or Thea get killed, I'm so done. Okay. I understand. Uh so some people are already putting out their thoughts. Um It might be the death. It might be the person in the grave. Who knows? Um but my prediction has always been Captain Lance or Diggle. That's why. That's why I think. I think it's, it's either Diggle or Lance. I mean, look, Lance has been getting so involved with the Arrow team. He's not really officially on Team Arrow, or maybe he is. Maybe he's, maybe he's an honorary member of Team Arrow. Um, but I mean, he's really grown, grown close to the team, and he's grown closer with his daughter Laurel. So I'm thinking, logically that'd be the easy way to go because you've you've involved him so much with the team and he's on the good side with them but if you go diggle ooh that's going to fundam that's going to fundamentally change the show for good like you can't kill Oliver cuz it, it, it's his show but killing the best friend that's been there since day 1 ooh and he has a kid and a wife i don't know that scene they showed briefly of John Diggle, because there's two Diggles in the room. John Diggle holding the gun up to Oliver, and Andy Diggle's like he thinks I'm he's, he thinks I'm a I'm evil or he thinks I'm you know working with Hive or something. Because Andy is Andy met with um, John Barrowman, John Barrowman. That's that's his that's the actual guy's name, Malcolm Merlin. At the end of uh, this week's episode, Beacon of Hope. Spoilers. Um, but I kind of figured this was gonna happen because I mean I I couldn't trust Andy. It was too obvious that Andy Diggle's gonna be uh, evil again. So. That wasn't a surprise, but uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see next week. But my prediction of who's in the grave, if this if this next week's episode is actually the person in the grave's death and it's happening, I'm saying Diggle or Lance. Who would I rather pick over those two? I would say Lance, but then again, I like the Lance character now. Maybe, maybe that's why it's going to be more hurtful if he goes because now we like him more because he's not anti-Green Arrow. He's not anti-Arrow team. He's now embracing it. He's actually... He was in the Arrow cave this week or the bunker, whatever. So, 
We'll see what happens. I'm definitely intrigued. This is a great promo. Either it's great trickery, they're going to get everybody to watch, and it's going to be a fake out. We're not going to learn until a couple more episodes. I really thought, if this is in fact the case, next week's episode is the death of whoever's in the grave. I personally thought it would be like episode 20, 21, 22, 23, maybe the ending, and season five's all about whoever killed the person in the grave. I, I don't know. It's an interesting storyline. Because if it's, if it's, if the death is connected to the entirety of the plot of Hive and Damien Dark in a sense, then it all ties together. But if this is a separate plot of a different villain that kills off, then, then that could be setting up a season five thing. I don't know. So that's my thoughts. That's my opinion. Great promo. Really good. Um, I'm just really more intrigued about if this is actually going to happen next week. Well, guess we'll find out. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my reaction and my thoughts to the Arrow 1159 trailer. Peace out, guys.